Hello, everybody, and welcome to How Strong is the Kool-Aid Man. You may uh, notice that uh, unregistered Bandicam logo up there, and that is because recording with OBS on a laptop is absolute hot garbage. So first things first, we got some stats about the Kool-Aid Man, courtesy of The Verge. They didn't give me permission to use this, but I'm going to. All right, so first things first, uh, we got height uh, of man of AIDS. Uh... Uh, 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 six feet, uh, six foot, six foot tall. Ooh, okay, so they calculated, can the Kool-Aid man break through a brick wall like he does in the commercials? And Vsauce said yes, and that he would only need to move at an average running pace to do so. Okay, uh, the Kool-Aid man is so strong that he has, he has comic, Marvel comic books made after him. Okay, so here we got Mike Tyson, Michael Gerard. I didn't know his middle name was Gerard. That's kind of funny. Uh, oh, wait. He'll beat me up if I say his name's funny. Uh, it's very masculine. Uh, and he it, he's he's five foot ten and 240 pounds. So to compare that, the Kool-Aid man. Kool-Aid man's taller by two inches. And he also weighs... He weighs just a little bit more. Okay. So we got that. We got that. And then this is the strongest man in the world. Uh, his name's Martins Lysis. Le 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 uh, he's six foot two, three hundred and fifty five pounds. He did a five hundred and sixty pound squat, okay, and he won twenty nineteen world strongest man. So to put in perspective of how strong the Kool Aid Man is, he the the strongest man in our plane of existence is no match for the Kool Aid Man, okay? He is no match. Okay, so if force equals mass times acceleration, first things force, uh, we got to look up average walking speed so we can get the acceleration. Three to four miles per hour. Okay, uh, 11,000 pounds times three mile per hour. 33,000. 3,000 newtons. Uh... That's to break through one brick, uh, three three thousand newtons, and he and he makes eleven times that. Uh, so that's just walking, though. Uh, um, average running speed. Uh, it's, uh, uh, we're gonna say it's, it's six point five miles per hour, pounds, uh, times uh, six point five miles per hour. And then let's pull up our handy dandy calculator. We're gonna do six point five times eleven thousand oh, for pounds. Oh my goodness! All right, so we got uh, uh, seventy one thousand. Frick! This video is stupid as crap, dude. Math. Ten thousand newtons. That is no problem for the Kool Aid Man. He could pick up. Seven cars. <laughs> <laughs> this video is so stupid, dude. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Newtons to break steel. We're gonna figure that. You only. <laughs> you only need twenty four hundred newtons. That's it. How much force does it take to break a collarbone? It's actually not that much. It's it's actually not that much. He could break everything, dude. Um, the Kool-Aid man can break every bone in your body in one punch. I'm just coming up with that. But he has the power to do so. So the next time you think about buying some Kool-Aid, just remember the Kool-Aid man will break your Nico Nico kneecaps.